It's King Charles' 75th birthday today. Let's see what his relationship with Harry. Apparently, Harry, his photos made Prince Charles' tribute. So let's see what their relationship is like today. You know, Prince Harry did not attend the birthday. So I'll do one shuffling with the Antique Anatomy. The link is in the description box. And the other cards I'll be using the Sweet Voyages Tarot. I have done a review on both of these decks. You'll find them in my description box. Okay, the relationship between Prince Charles and Prince... Prince Charles. The relationship between King Charles and Prince Harry. Is he known to be a Harry or is he known to be the spare? Okay. Interesting. The first cups that I've got represents the king and the queen. You've got the king and the queen, and they're not putting up with this. The next card is the seven of blades. With everything that Harry's done, they're not putting up with it. This card demonstrates uh, gossip. It demonstrates somebody who's done the wrong thing. It demonstrates robbery. It demonstrates somebody being sly. It demonstrates somebody being, uh, I want to say, deceitful, cheating, cunning, um, deception, it, not a good thing, not a good thing. That's how they see Prince Harry. And I don't even feel sad in saying that. Do you? Do you feel sad in me in hearing that in that reading? So let's pull some other cards. And with that popping up now, that goes to show you, I don't think what he's done can ever be undone. Then we have the strength card. The strength card is all about patience. But we do have a situation that will come up. It will be planned together where they will be mixing together. You know, the three of coins is about collaboration. It is about working together. It is about coming together. But the three of wands really indicates that it's sort of like other people will get involved. So there is a situation that they will be brought together. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. I feel like this is going to be a development in their relationship. I don't feel like we're ever going to get past this stage, except especially since that's how the reading opened. But I do feel like at one stage there will be a coming together. Um, they're at deadlock. Uh, with the moon, that normally is when things come to light, you know, where the truth is seen. You know, the moon illuminates. And the two of blades is really about missing information. There is going to be information that's going to come forward about their relationship. I don't feel like, again, it's going to be positive because there is an ending. You know, the eight of Alexis elixirs or eight of cups is really about letting go it's a bittersweet ending here with their relationship their relationship i don't know why we even keep talking about it or discussing it i don't even know why they play nice in the social media i don't even know why they put his photos up so let's just see how does prince harry feel about king charles it's interesting that Prince Harry has learned to move on, progress on. The Apprentice card has come up here, so has working with other people. So he's learning, he's, he's learned to move on. He's learned to have the courage in order to start other projects. And I feel like his relationship with the king, we've got the king here, we've got the truth, but this is about shadow work. It's about moving on. I feel like Prince Harry has really learned a lot about his dark side. It's learned about what he's capable of, the good and bad, the evil, the ugly. Um, I don't know whether before he was taught about um, biting his lip, but there's a definite feeling here of... Um, I feel like he's, he's easily manipulated. And again, this has been brought about in so many press articles about Megan bringing this forward. There's a feeling here of manipulation against the king. A soft touch, Harry. Uh, he's a soft touch. Now, I don't know whether we've got some legalities or law around Prince Harry or someone does something to him. For some reason, I'm getting... Um, Either something's stolen, something's taken. I don't know. That, that may come up in future. Here we've got the death card. Here we've got the clarity card. And here we've got about setting boundaries. And I have a feeling that Prince Harry feels that he should have taken more from them. Now, I don't know what that more means here. Does it mean money? Does it mean information? Does it mean, you know, providing the press with other things? There's a definite feeling here of endings, clarity of truth and boundaries. And But there's a feeling here of him wishing that 
he didn't take it that far. There is a feeling of regret here that he wished, he, and this could be the book, this could be interviews. There's a feeling here of he wish he didn't take it that far. Maybe he wishes that he'd set the boundaries here better for himself and what he said. But I just feel like there's a feeling here of it wasn't worth it. You know, there's a feeling here of what was released, what was said, the interviews, the books. It wasn't worth it, you know. It was, the success was fleeting. Because there's a feeling here of he could have dealt with things in a different manner. And the action that Harry took, this is the action card with the devil and the ten of cups. The devil and the ten of cups really means that the addiction, he self-sabotaged his own happiness, you know, through his own actions. Silly boy, silly boy. That's what we've got about Harry, you know. And, you know, we know that that's fact. So that's the reading there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel. Until next time, if you want me to discuss anyone or do tarot reading, please put their name in the comments below.